Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Peepbreaker, and today I want to discuss that really big patch that DICE released for Battlefield 4 on the 6th of March, and I'm gonna go in there and analyze all the new things, all the new gadgets, the new guns, how to get them, uh, and also what kind of changes they made to the game, and to see if, if the game has actually become any better, um, because they really changed a lot in this one, and I can e even see that they, they're doing a big effort in, in fixing the game. I have to say that, of course, the game is still kind of broken in some aspects, um, but I'm going to talk about this in another video actually, where I'm going to be talking about the things that are still kind of off or wrong with the game, um, but here I really want to focus on the good things and on what they actually improved upon the game and what has become better. So right here you can see me unlocking the new assault rifle, which is the AR-160, and in order to get this one, you're gonna have to get the assault rifle ridden three times, as well as 20 headshots with assault rifles. Easy peasy, there you go, you get the AR-160. This is actually a pretty decent gun and I'm probably going to be doing a review on this one because I really like it. Now the next thing that they did is actually get rid of the desync issues they, they had. Um, so right here you can see 100%, no blood, 67% and blood and hit through the wretch and everything. It's just all in sync. The sound where you get hit, uh, the time where the blood's on your screen and the hit notification is all at the same time. Right now you can see same same goes for here and if that was too quick we can see, look at it again you can see right now no blood and blood and um, there was really this was really out of sync before the patch and it really annoyed me a lot and it was actually my video uh, where I talked about how broken it was but now I can take it out gladly now the next thing they finally 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 fixed was the straight pull bolt now here you can see me shooting it how you shouldn't shoot it I shoot it right before I should, actually before it, it settles down, and this is how you should do it. This is not how you should do it, this is how you should do it. You always have to wait until your scope settles down uh, before you take the shot, because otherwise it's just gonna go way off. Um, so, but basic, basically, um, before you had to wait an extra, extra second, and now this is actually not necessary anymore, and you can just play it just the way you could play in Battlefield 3. Now, the next thing they finally changed was the hipfire ADS. Um, bonus they gave. So basically right here to the right I hip fired the gun. Now here to the left I'm gonna start hip firing and go ADS afterwards. Now I actually get higher accuracy than before. Before those two patterns would have been the same but now they finally fixed that issue and actually got a, a better accuracy when aiming down sights. You can see right here the two accuracies are, are way significant diff different and yeah it's just the way it's supposed to be. I like it. Now the next thing are those pesky AA mines, and yeah, you can place down a lot of them as you can see. No, you can actually only place down two of them, and two um, of these AA mines basically are going to uh, disable a chopper uh, temporarily. Uh, so they're not actually going to kill a chopper uh, if it's 100%, but actually just going to damage it. So it, it's more kind of a, a bad choke in my opinion. This is not really, it, it's not overpowering any means, it, it's not really useful in my opinion. And yeah, I mean, as an engineer you can just shoot down a chopper with a straw, so GG. Next thing they finally also introduced is pushing back boats into wa into the water. As you can see right here, the RCB boat as well as the rip boat and of course also the jet skis can now finally be pushed into water after you stranded them and also if you jump out of them you're gonna get killed and this is actually not fixed yet that you get the headshot icon now here you can see me spamming the rex now they actually removed the delay or rather they tweaked the delay before the bullet actually got out of the muzzle and uh they made it yeah of course it's again it's still um kind of realistic and here you see me spamming the the magnum by the way they still have this delay in there because they think it's it's realistic or something or i don't even know i don't like it and um but as you can see right here uh we've got the the other revolver which is actually the sw40 uh now this as you can see right here has no delay this is awesome it's just like the rex in battlefield 3 and i'm definitely going to be using this gun a lot but how in the blazes do you get the sr40 so basically, all you have to do is get 10 impact grenade kills, and you're good to go. You just go into operation lockers and, and shoot a couple of, of these nades in these hallways. By the way, if you push uh, 5 or something like that, you can't just hold or cook the grenade. You can't cook it, but there you go. It's fairly simple. Next up, we've got another sniper rifle, which is the SR338. And all you have to do in order to unlock this bad boy is you need to get the sniper rifle ribbon three times and five kills with C4 on, then on naval strike maps. So you can't actually do this yet, um, but once the map pack is out, you can do it. 
Now, you can actually not spam this gun. As you can see right here, if I spam the gun, um, the bullets go way off center. You actually have to wait after each shot for a little time before you can uh, fire the next one in order to have full accuracy, which is, of course, to prevent this gun from being kind of overpowered. Now, the next gun, which was a real pain in the ass to unlock, um, is the SR2. And all you have to do, haha, is destroy 20 boats. This was, for me, it was it was like, I it took me about 5-6 hours to do this. And, uh, it's just, it's so bad. Just go into Parasol Storm and uh, go into the RCB or Attack Boat, and there you go. Now, also, they have introduced the M320 3GL, which is actually like a, a free grenade launcher thingy, uh, in order for which you have to get 10 kills with the UGL Dart, as well as 10 kills with the UGL LVG. Um, I'm not quite a fan of this one, so I didn't unlock it yet. Uh, by the way, the AA mine, you have to uh, unlock them by getting the PDW ribbon three times, as well as destroy five air attack air vehicles with rocket launchers. So basically, with the RPG or the straw, you have to shoot down attack choppers. Kind of hard, but I guess after a while, you should be done with this one as well. Now, the last unlock you can get is the AWS, which is a LMG. A pretty, pretty awesome LMG as well. And in order to unlock this one, you have to get the LMG ribbon three times, as well as destroy uh, three vehicles as support. Easy peasy. All right, then on to some other tweaks. We also got some grenade tweaks. So basically, they increased the max damage of the RGO impact grenade from 67 to 80. However, it reduced the range of the explosion. Um, it's actually pretty hard to get kills with the RGO now, but in my opinion, that's a good change. Now, also, they reduced the visual and audio effect of the detonation of the V40 mini grenades uh, and decreased the max damage from 80 to 60. Finally. Grenade spam, no longer. Actually, we still have grenade spam because we got the, the 3GL. Eh, whatever. Now, onto some other changes. They actually tweaked the timing uh, for how long the kill feed stays on screen. I didn't really notice that, but yeah, on the top right corner, the kill feed was kind of gone pretty fast. And now it stays on there for a little bit longer so you can actually see when somebody got killed. And uh, they also increased the maximum rank to 120 for all those ship bucketeers out there happy hunting. Also quite welcome is an improved wheel friction, so vehicles don't get stuck at relatively minor hills. I really like this one as well. And also they fixed the bug where you could see like the red laser dot onto textures after somebody died. That was pretty annoying. They fixed that one. And also they fixed the issue with the faulty zoom level when where you were like running and click to zoom, you would like get a weird, really messed up zoom level uh, from hip to zoom. Uh, so they actually fixed this one as well. They, it was with the sniper rifles most of the times that this got really annoying. And last but not least, they reduced the splash damage and the max damage of the scout helicopters, uh, 25 millimeter cannons, finally. But in my opinion, they still have to nerf it a lot because it's still OP as shit. But these weren't actually all the bug fixes and changes they introduced into the 6th of March patch. Um, it's a whole long list and there's a lot of weapon changes and other changes that I now didn't really talk about or that I didn't think are quite important to the game. Uh, and they can actually leave the link to this article in the description below so you can basically check it out. Um, but that was pretty much it for today. Really, I am quite happy with this patch. It's definitely a step into the right direction. It's still not perfect, but I think it's it's way better than before. And we've seen so many bugs and glitches and stuff, and they actually addressed all these things, or the majority of these things, and got rid of them. So kudos to DICE. They did their job pretty well, in my opinion. Now, actually, some things which aren't quite perfect with the patch yet is that the reload animation for those new weapons, uh, when you're out of ammo, so completely dry, um, is not imp implemented yet, and also when you're being fired at in a jet, you don't hear any impact sounds. That's what I noticed playing for the past couple of days, uh, but in my opinion, this is a really solid patch. They really introduced a lot of bug fixes, a lot of things got nicely rid of, and I don't think they introduced too much shit, but of course I want to hear your opinion. Do you think this is a good patch? Do you think they introduced more shit than there was in there before? Do you think it got worse? Do you think it got better? What's your opinion about it? Do you think Battle 4 is worth playing again? But that was pretty much it for today, I wanted to thank you guys for watching, have a good one, and until the next one, cheers! Battle.